Hello everyone. After we have performed the proctor test, now we are going to continue with Californian bearing ratio, which is mostly uh, named CBR. Uh, we are with Bruno. Uh, me, I am uh, Boniface Ajanimana, a lecturer in geotechnical engineering at IPRC Kigali. The CBR uh, consists of penetra penetrating uh, of penetration of this piston in the sample, which has to be prepared, and then we are going to record the resistance at uh, different penetrations. But the CBR values are going to be taken at the penetration of 2.5 millimeter and and five millimeter. First of all, we are going to prepare the sample. Preparing the sample, we are going to use the method C for CBR. It means uh, we sieve the material through the 19 millimeter sieve, and then you are going to compact. By compacting, it is recommended to choose different moisture contents or different densities. For the different densities, you are going to use different co compaction efforts, which are going to be considered by using different uh, blows per layer. And we are going to use the optimum moisture content. For the optimum moisture content, we are going to co we compact. After compacting uh, with 56 layers, we are going to make the second sample. Uh, with 25 layers and the third sample with 10 uh, layers uh, with 10 blows per layers per layer and then we are going uh, we proceed as we did for the proctor test to get the results after compacting there We are going to change the base. We are going to use the base with which is per fold. And on the top, we are going to add the collar and filter papers. Please add that. And we are going to put this plate again above. Furthermore, we are going to add this ring. Uh, doing this is important for the soaking process. The CBR can be is normally done after soaking the sample for four days and we soak it, uh, by soaking, we need this support and uh, the gauge. This gauge is going to help us on determining the swelling of the soil. Because once the soil gets underwater, it may swell. It means the expansion. That's why after After finishing this, we are going to take the samples in the bath for four days. After every compaction, we are going to verify the moisture content. It means we tried to compact with the optimum moisture content. Yesterday we got uh, when we did the proctor, when we did the proctor, we got the optimum moisture content of 18.2% with the maximum dry density of 177 uh, gram per centimeter cube. The maximum dry density is our reference, and then the optimum moisture content is calibrated 
uh, for the, those samples. That's why after every mix, mixture, we are going to take the samples and determine the moisture content. And hence, we calculate the density. From the density, we are going to determine the degree of compaction, which is the, the, the dry density we get after compaction. As you see, the soil is with the optimum moisture content. That's why the degree of compaction will depend on the energy we are going to use by compacting. That's why with 56 blows, we are going to come up with around 100% of degree of compaction. And with 25 blows per uh, layer, we are going to get around 95%. With those different blows, we go to the different degree of compaction and we soak it. When soaking, we soak it for four days and every day we take reading of swelling in one of 100 millimeter. At the end, we are going to get the total swelling, which is also important for the testing. And then it's time to perform the actual test. It means we are going to, to let the, this piston penetrate. So first of all, we take out the sample. For example, take this with 100%. It means 56 blows. Now, we can prepare it for the testing. It means going to take away those rings. As you see, before putting the plate, we put the paper, filter paper. Take away also the filter paper. And then you put again the rings. And you put it in the machine. For the machine, the machine can move up and down. First of all, we switch on the machine. And then we make sure that this one is in the middle. The machine can move and the machine had an adjustable speed. Now, to get the contact with the piston, please put the speed of 50 millimeter per minute. Enter. And you go up. We are going to set the testing speed once we got the contact. To set the testing speed and the gauge is going to be adjusted at zero. After adjustment, we are going to test on a constant speed. The standard says that we have to test it on around 1.25 millimeter per minute or 1.27, depending on the standard. The speed is set. And now this ring is going to help us to get the 
load in kilonewton. It means we are going to, to take the deformation of the ring that we are going to record here. We multiply by the ring factor. About the penetration, there are two possibilities. Either you can take a gauge here, you can take gauge here, that controls the movement of the machine. The sec secondary, and what we are going to do is to consider the speed. Since we are going to load on constant interval, it means at zero millimeter, zero, uh, after 0 0.63 millimeter, it means after 30 seconds, considering our speed, and then we are going to record after one minute and so on, one and a half minute and so on, until we are going to reach the 10 millimeter readings. So now we are going to start the machine and with the stopwatch. So we're going to continue to read up to 10 millimeter. After reading for this sample, we continue with, with the next sample. It means the sample with 25 blows, and then we read with, on the sample with uh, 10 blows. And at the end, we're going to get those readings. Once it is reached, we stop the machine, so you move it up. To take it to take it away. You can increase the speed so that it comes out so quickly. While he's increasing, we see the readings from the from the three samples. And then for each reading, we are going to multiply by the ring factor to get the load. After getting the load. We are going to plot it graphically. It means the first one, it means below, is for 10 blows per layer. The second one, the blue one, is for 25 blows per layer. And the red one is for 56 blows per layer. And then, after getting that, we are going getting that we're going to compare to take the load at 2.5 millimeter and the load at 5 millimeter for each sample and you are going to compare them with the standard ones the standard ones the standard ones are given they are given in megapascal from the standard, you can convert them by multiplying by the, uh, the load with the cross section. This piston has a, a diameter of 50 millimeter. After getting that, we are going to get the CBR values at 2.5 and 85. Afterwards, for each sample, we are going to choose the maximum of both. If, if that will be recorded as CBR index. And for every density we have, we are going to show the, the graphic representing the CBR index and the dry density of the sample we used. Thank you.